All right, welcome everyone to Weekly Box Report. We have a lot of big news to discuss today. We have uh, EA purchases a website, which one? EA uh, also buys PopCap, but for how much? A new arcade game is headed to Xbox 360, which one? Um, an old game that we all loved on the PS2 is coming to the PS Vita. And Netflix repricing, plus more information on this week's Box Report. Welcome to Box News. Welcome to Box News. Welcome to Box News. All right, to start off the show, we're going to talk about EA purchasing a website. They had purchased ModernWarfare3.com. That domain is now owned by EA. So, funny story is they own Battlefield 3. Why would they purchase ModernWarfare3.com? Well, because they want fans to start going there as the game is being hyped up into this fall. And it's going to actually redirect you to Battlefield 3 website. So head to ModernWarfare3.com right now and you'll be uh, surprised to see what you're going to see. Well, not anymore. You're going to see Battlefield 3. Um, obviously, these two are going head-to-head -head and uh, right now EA is going to have the upper hand. Unfortunately, EA sucks and they're a monopoly. They flag my videos all the time. So they'll probably end up flagging this one because I talk bad about them. Um, but it's becoming a monopoly. That's just my thoughts on it. Uh, EA, EA is also... Uh, Purchased PopCap for $750 million. They are the creators of Plants vs. Zombies and Peggle, plus many other successful games, so they now own the rights to that. A new uh, arcade game is headed to Xbox 360. No release date or what the game is going to be about as of yet. Obviously, there's a lot of new games coming out. This one in particular is the second of two South Park games to hit Xbox Marketplace, and it's an arcade game exclusive on the Xbox 360. Uh, Final Fantasy XI is headed to the PlayStation Vita. No announced date or release if it'll be something to be launched with it or any more information that they Square uh, Soft wants to do uh, more stuff of that with Square Enix, whatever it's called now. Changes the name so much. Uh, they want to do re-release that for the PS Vita. Now, Netflix repricing. A lot of you have gotten emails this week on Netflix restructuring their uh, pricing schemes. A lot of people unhappy, a lot of people don't really care. Um, the pricing structure will be $7.99 for one DVD at a time out, and then separate, unlimited streaming will be another $7.99. So for those of you who had a package deal, it's now done separately, which is good and bad for some people. Some people might want one or the other, some people still want both. Uh, good news is, if um, you want two DVDs at a time, it's only going to be $11.99. So it's a pretty good deal to get the second DVD. Uh, I myself have several, well not several, but four DVDs out on time. I'm only going to be paying two more dollars than I was paying for the unlimited streaming and DVDs. So it's not that big a deal to me. Um, Bioshock Infinite is rumored to come to the PlayStation Vita as well. Uh, obviously that's a 2012 release. We're going to get more information as, as that unfolds. Uh, also, Sony News, they will be investing $20 million in PlayStation Network exclusive games. So more downloadable games. Uh, they're obviously going to try to compete heavily with the Xbox Marketplace, which is very successful in comparison. Um, and lastly, more EA news. EA will be shutting down old online games. Obviously, these games will still work, but it's doubtful that they will receive patches or the online playability obviously will be shut off. Uh, some of the games include Army of Two, Battlefield Two, Medal of Honor, NASCAR 09, NCAA Basketball and Football 2010, Need for Speed Undercover, and Most Wanted. Skate, the first one, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10, Madden 10, and NHL 10. Sorry to those people who own that game who still play it online. Um, they're obviously encouraging you to buy the newest title for $60. And if you don't buy it for $60 new, you can buy it used, but you have to pay an additional $10 to play online. EA is a monopoly, like I said earlier. Um, some new releases this week. Call of Juarez, The Cartel, Just Dance, Summer Party, and Captain America. As for Just Dance Summer Party, I really hope it has the new single by LMFAO, Party Rockin' in the house tonight. Yeah. All right. 8-Bit Challenge time. Last week's winner was Home Skillet. He guessed it right away. Obviously, the game is Blaster Master. Uh, this week's going to be a step up of a challenge. And let's take it now to the 8-Bit Challenge of the Week.
please hold me? Oh, I love you, Prince William. Mm, give me some of your loving, baby.